In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own digital planner and I'm giving this away. So if you want a digital planner for free, you can just click the link in the description, sign up for the newsletter and get it. In this video though, I'm going to show you how to make the most out of it and let's get started. So the first thing is that if you're creating your digital planner on Canva, because that's what we're going to do, uh, you can just type in dig digital planner or digital planner 2023 and find the planner that you like. In my case, I'm just gonna create it from scratch, but this is something you can do. One thing, if you're trying to sell this, you have to make changes. Okay, so let's create a new design and I'm gonna choose US letter. We're creating this a portrait mode. If you want horizontal, then just switch the size sizes. And here we have our first page. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a monthly page so I'm going to type in monthly in the designs, see if I like something, see if I can make some changes to it. So I like the design of this and I like the design of this. So let's say I'm going to create the okay, this, side, this one. Um, then we're going to make changes to all the fonts, all the colors and everything so that we're not in trouble. This and this one as well. Now this doesn't have to be notes, it can be something else, but it's up to you. For me, what I want it to be is here on this side, I want a to-do list. And then on the other side, let's copy this. So I'm copying this by holding the Alt key and then resizing it. Uh, let's move it over here. So I'm going to move this in the middle. So this is it. This is how it looks like. And then here I'm going to add just month. And now I need some to-do lists. So I'm going to add some circles like this. And we're going to add them here so people can make a to-do list that I don't worry too much if they're aligned because now I will select all of them align them vertically and they're already aligned at the center and now I want to change colors so this goes away completely I'm gonna make a little how do you call that under text thingy highlight so something like this just maybe a little bigger and a little thinner. And if you can't move it more, just zoom your design and then it lets you move it. So like that, maybe even more. Maybe let's move it this way. Here. So I like how this looks. And then everything for me is going to be purple. Also, I'm going to delete these. So even more minimal. And now let's change this to purple. So I'm just going to click the slider, go to purple, choose the color I like, copy this color, and then change it throughout my design. So I'm going to change it here, this to-do list thingy also, but this time let's make it a little darker. And then this also, we're going to change the color. This I'm actually going to delete at all. It's not going to be there. And I'm going to show you quickly soon why. Or, okay, let's leave it and see what I do with it. Okay, so I have this. And then what I need to do is I go to Google Sheets and I add the text I want that will automatically will be generated to each month. So I'm going to have the month and I'm going to have the quotes. If you want, you can add more things. So the first quote I'm actually going to add just to see how it looks like. So we're going to add, well, let's just copy this and add it over here. Let's twist to 90 degrees. And then I'm just going to add it. And we're going to make this, can't see make this longer as long as possible so i'm i want it to be to here and then i want it to be at the bottom i want it to be long so here it is here's my quote so each page is going to have a quote and just choose where you want it to be i want it to be more on the side and maybe not as dark so let's make it gray and that's it. That's 
and not bold the one that okay so that's it and let's get started the bulk method so i'm gonna download this you don't have to you can also just copy and paste but we're gonna download this as separated uh c s v a and then i'm gonna go back to my planner i am going to either apps and search for bulk and then if it's for me because i already have it it's just here and then I can upload this uh, file or what you can also do is enter the data manually. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the places where I want the text and I'm going to connect the data. So I'm going to connect to the month. This is also going to be month and this one is going to be quotes. And then I'm going to just click continue and it's going to generate 12 pages for me. Just like that, I have my 12 pages planner. So I have February, March, and all of them have a quote and a to-do list, and it looks very nice. Now, for the cover, I'm actually going to use uh, this one. If you want me, there is a video on that, how to create this. Let me show you how it looks like. Let's go over here. And I'm just going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to change the color to my main color. See which one? This one I like. So this is how it looks like. Now this ballerina, it is from Canva. And this, these are the three elements, two elements I have. Um, and I thought there was one more, but I don't see it. Yeah, so I just have two. Okay, so I see that there's a little thing over here that I need to fix. So I have two elements, but I'm going to make one one more. So I just copied the image and then I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to drag it over here. So I want that her everything is in front of two. And then this gold thingy is from elements and I just type in gold. And then I just chose, I don't, this one. So here it is. But what I like is that because she has these three elements, I can make her either behind or in front the gold and the same for this. So that's my favorite thing about it that you can see, I can make it in front or I can make it back. So I like that in the front she has gold and then in the back her face is not covered by gold. And this we can even add more texture. So I'm going to add grain or grainy, sorry. And I'm going to go to photos and then over here I'm going to choose one of these. So let's try this one. I'm going to turn this like that. Make it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to add it like that. And we're going to remove the transparency a little bit and we're going to put it behind everything. So it's just the page that's going to have that texture. And here it is. You have your cover and then we need an index page. So for index page, I'm just going to copy the text so I make sure it's the same size. And then here I just type in index page and we can add i'm gonna add uh how do you call it brush not okay let's try brush yes okay so i like this one and i'm gonna add 12 of them so signifying each month so I'm just gonna add it like this or you can have it for different uh things so empty pages it's also fine but this time it's just gonna be for the months and then we're going to change the position and align them vertically. Make sure they're all aligned. And after that, all I need is the numbers. So I'm going to type in 01. Also make this smaller so it's not in, in anywhere. And I'm just going to copy and paste these. And I don't worry too much about them. I will only worry about the last one and the first one. So those need to be aligned for me and then I just select all of them and adjust vertically also to the left 
and then I just copy and paste the same thing and then I would change it to 0, 2, 0, 3 and whatnot but I don't want to waste your time so we're not going to do that. Once you do that you can add links to this so you just click a link and then you go to the first month which is January. If you want to make it easier you could also type in January here so that once you click a link you can actually see January so up to you. Another page we need is our yearly page. So we go to the design, go to yearly and just add, well, let's add 2023 and then just choose the, the page you want and then make changes to the fonts. Again, same thing, you need to make the changes to the fonts so that the design looks different if you want to sell this on Etsy. So I'm not going to do that right now because I just wanted to show you. But basically, this is it. All we need else is um, some basic icons over here. So I would say home, for example, home icon. And then I'm going to go to graphics. And then over here, I'm going to choose my home icon. And I'll just put it here and then add it to the index page. So I select index page. Maybe let's move this over here. And then we have a yearly page. And sometimes I just make little circles and they just signify different things. So this has to be smaller. And then it's going to be black, for example. And this little circle takes you to the yearly page. And after you're done with these, all you need to do is select them, copy and paste them on every page like that select the page paste and it's very very easy and that's it you guys uh if you want me to go in more detail create a daily page and things like that let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching and see you next time